What's up everyone, Acid Glow here. So there's a couple of Predator items that I have not covered yet in a video. So I decided to have a look at a few of them and put them into one video. Now the Predator Whip was featured in the movie Alien vs Predator Requiem. It was used by the wolf Predator who traveled to Earth in an attempt to control a xenomorph outbreak caused by Predalien. This weapon can wrap around a target and if it's pulled with enough strength it unfolds and slices through the victim. Now it was not explained in the movie, but the creators have said this weapon is acid resistant because it is in fact made from the alien tail. The weapon was used on a few aliens throughout the movie, but the wolf predator lost use of it when he fought against the pred alien. This unique weapon seems to be best used at medium range, although it can be used in a similar fashion at close range. Another new item from the same movie was a dissolving liquid which has a blue color to it. Now it was taken from the crash predator ship where the Predalien escaped. So this item seems to be mostly used as a tool that will dissolve anything it touches. It seems the entire body of a victim does not need to be covered in the liquid for it to take effect. Areas on a body that did not make contact with the liquid started to melt. Now it could have massive heat that causes effect or maybe it was just due to the special effects. So it seems this liquid is meant to erase evidence of the aliens existing on earth as the wolf predator tried to get rid of humans who die by chestbursters, and was also used as a weapon against a xenomorph within the hospital. Now since the liquid is kept in a vial, it's possible its melting properties only come into effect when it makes contact with tissue from a life form. Now the power punch glove, also known as the steel wrist shield or arm cladding, was used in the same movie. It has a feature to cover the predator's hand with a bridge of metal plates that are connected to brass knuckles. Its purpose is to increase the force of a punch from the Yauchua who is using it. Now it was seen used by the wolf predator when he chased after the aliens who escaped the sewers. It was shown to give enough force to punch through concrete. Now an early design of this item even had more armor plating extended across the arm to protect from splattering alien acid blood. Although this design was not used in the movie, it seems the designers had the intention for this weapon to be used in melee combat as well. Now although this tool was only used to create exits, it leaves us wondering how much damage it would have done to the Predalien if Wolf could have used it during their final battle. Even though he disarmed himself in this scene, he still had his wrist gauntlet, so perhaps he just chose not to use it as a test of his strength without the use of other weapons. The tracking syringe was also from the same movie. It was taken from the fall of Predator's ship that stored facehuggers. When they escaped into the woods, Wolf had to take samples of the water that stored the facehuggers. Their bodily fluid was in the water, and this fluid was injected into Wolf's wrist gauntlet, which then gave his biomask a vision mode to track the facehuggers. It seems like it was able to pick up the traces of their body fluids. Now what struck me as odd about this scene was that Wolf was an elite hunter, with knowledge about the xenomorphs. So I think his biomask should have already had this vision mode, but perhaps this idea was inserted into the movie just to give them a new tool to use. So in the first Alien vs Predator movie, we got to see the noose weapon. This was used on one human within the pyramid. It's able to be affected by the stealth camouflage, and the way it wraps around the victim's neck, it can be used to silently eliminate a victim. Now this item is mostly used as a means of tying up the feet of their prey and hanging them. Now it can be used in combat, although it doesn't seem to be something the Predator would use consistently. It's also unknown if the material of the noose is acid resistant. It also makes us wonder how much of this item a predator would carry since they tend to hang many victims. It's one of those things that isn't explored much and I'm wondering if a predator would even consider using something else to hang their victims. Would they use cables, wires, or rope that is found on earth? It's hard to say. The ceremonial dagger was seen in the first Alien vs Predator movie. The dagger is to be used as a last resort when the Yachua has no other weapons available. It is carried on the right shin and is believed to be made from the bone or resin of the xenomorph, which makes it resistant to the alien's acid blood effects. Although it can be used in close range combat, it is also known to be used as a tool to remove a trophy. This dagger is used by young Yauchuas during their rite of passage. The Celtic predator was about to use it on the grid alien, but he hesitated, and he was killed off by this alien before he could use it. It was later used by Scar as he cut up an alien and formed a spear weapon and shield for Lex. Now, although this weapon is meant to be used by young bloods, this weapon was also seen in the movie Alien vs Predator Requiem. When Wolf reached for his mask and weapons, it can be seen on the wall. And the final weapon we'll include in this video is the wrist gun, also known as the energy flushet. 
It was used by the city hunter in Predator 2. When a shoulder cannon was damaged, he used his weapon on Harrigan. It fires a single plasma shot. It had enough force to throw Harrigan off his feet and burn through his armor. Now a version of this weapon made an appearance in the video game Aliens vs Predator 2 Primal Hunt. This version was rather weak in damage but had a high rate of fire. It was also seen in the comic books, but it was used only once and it never hit the intended target. Now this weapon seems to not be linked to the targeting lasers from the biomask, so its accuracy is based on the Predator's aim. Now the weapon seems to be used as a last resort and ammunition must be scarce, which could be the reason why it's rarely used. Now although these weapons had very few appearances, it does leave us wondering, what else do the Predators have that we haven't seen? And because there was so little information on these items, I thought it would be better to compile them all into one video. So which of these items did you like the most, and do you want to see them come back in some way? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to see more content around the Predator franchise, then subscribe to my channel, and enable notifications so you know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching, my name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video. Predator wins. <laughs>